All right, you vowed to be more organized in the new year. Now it is time to get started. Joining us is Kate Wirt from Moxie Life Organizing. Yeah, this is something that I like try to do a couple of times a year. Um, sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes I'm not. You say <laughs> what you really need to do is have that vision. So the most recent thing that I organized was my um, hall closet, and I had a vision of exactly like I want it to be clean, I want it to be easy, I want it to be easy for people to find things and put it back where they belong. Exactly. <laughs> How long that's going to stay that way, I don't know, but I felt real good afterwards. Right, absolutely. And that's a huge thing as we talk about casting a vision. So how I like people to look at stuff is that our stuff takes time and energy. Mm -hmm. So as organizers, any organizer is going to tell you declutter first before okay. you get to the fun organizing supplies. Okay. But I like that you started with a closet because we like to start small, keep it simple, mm -hmm. so we avoid that overwhelm and prevent some of that burnout. So. Um, a few things you can start with is the junk drawer. Yeah. I don't know if you have a jumble <laughs> junk drawer, yes. but I'm going to show you real quick here. This is a junk drawer organizer, and I'm going to teach you an organizing term. We like to use containerize. Okay. <laughs> so organizers love to containerize items. Starting small with the junk drawer is one thing. Maybe it's under the kitchen sink. And then another thing we like to do is when we're looking at containers, we like to get visual. Yes. Definitely get visual with it. So some of these acrylics are really popular right now um, and then with that you can use different things like this is an oil-based marker sharpie okay and you can label with that so that's another you know casting that vision right. and, and you know what I really do like is I like the clear because then you can see what's inside especially if you're putting stuff in there just like I need this but I don't use it every day and so right. then that way you can just and if you've got several of them stacked on top of each other right. you can see Absolutely. the one you need. Absolutely and that's another thing we talk about is the stackability so these containers actually stack on top of each other so we're able to use up some of that vertical space, yes. another organizing fun term, absolutely. But you know, not everybody likes to have everything clear. So right. we do also recommend if there's things that you like to hide, like, you know, uh, kids toys. Mm -hmm. Something like this, a wicker or wire basket with or a liner. papers, mine is, I, I really struggle with what to do with those important papers. And then they build up and then you're like, you have to go through them and sort them and you, you've kept half of them for a month you didn't need to. And you know, like, so this is what I like for papers. Stick them down at the bottom, you don't have to see them. <laughs> Until the basket gets full. Right, and then you might have to deal with them, right? Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. And the other thing too, though, is just like, how do you get other people on board with, once you've got something beautiful and organized, how do you get it to stay that way? It's a lot of reinforcement. So before <laughs> you even start organizing, you're gonna wanna talk to the family or your spouse or partner, get them on board, tell them like why it's important to you. Okay. You know, I wanna spend more time with my kids or I wanna have more time for us to go out on dates. You know, that's why I'm doing this, to save time and money. And then keep reminding them. You know, that's the thing, we all need reminders of things regularly and especially our kids. My son knows I'm an organizer. He's pretty organized, but every other day I still have to remind him to hang up his jacket. Right. Okay, so my husband accuses me of throwing too much away. I throw things away. I just, cause I just, I don't like a lot of clutter. We don't have a lot of space in our home. So. I like your style. <laughs> I do love it, but he complains that I throw too much stuff away. So how do we get to the part where we're like, mm, we can be on the same page with tossing stuff and, and parting with things and, that sort of thing. That can be tough and working with couples is always a little bit difficult. So what I tell people is that my stuff's gonna look different than your stuff. You're not maybe gonna understand why I love throw pillows, you know? <laughs> so that's no, the and he does not understand why I love throw pillows. <laughs> right, right. But you know, a big thing I tell people is to give without guilt. Okay. You know, pay it forward to somebody that's gonna use it and keep driving in that vision of, mm -hmm. you know, that we've casted, that we're, we're trying to spend more time together. We wanna have more time with the kids. Mm -hmm. All right, well, these are some really, really good tips. You're not done though with these organizing tips because you're gonna be back next week and you're gonna be talking about prettying up, prettying up that pantry, which can be a little bit of a hot mess in some people's uh, kitchen mm -hmm. sometimes, yeah, right? Yeah, that's a pretty common one. Yeah, we've worked a lot of pantries. It's another place where you hang on to things for too long. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for the tips. Of course, you can learn more about Moxie Life Organizing on our website, and this weekend at the Grand Rapids Remodeling and New Home Show at DeVos Place. Stay with us.